What's up everybody? Just a video today on how to set up the Unity project with FMOD and the uh, Oculus Spatializer plugin. Since a couple of things have changed since last year, I thought I'd do a little update on the, in the new video. So start in Unity Hub, create a new project. Uh, I'm using the latest 2020.1.3F1 release. Uh, make it a 3D project, give it a name. I'm gonna call this Viking Village 2020. Now, in the meantime, you can head on over to fmod.com. Um, click on download, but you need to create a, a free profile, free account there. Um, download FMOD Studio Suite. And for the love of God, make sure to download the 2.00 and not the 2.01, because this cost me a day of my life trying to figure out why it didn't work. Um, the 2.01 is an early access version and the Oculus Spatializer plugin does not work with this. So you need to, the stable release, which is 2.00. Um, then scroll down and also download the Unity integration package, also 2.00. All right, so we booted up Unity. We have an empty project. Um, then go over to the asset store, which has moved in 2020.1. So then you need to go to the package manager. So let's have a look at that. Um, all right, need to sign into my account. All right, so if you're in the package manager, make sure that you um, search for uh, packages in the Unity registry, unless, like me, you already uh, imported that package before, then it's supposed to be under uh, my assets. Um, let's see, where is it? Um, down here, Viking Village, import it. This will probably take uh, a couple of minutes. Yes, this will be a complete project overwrite, imported nonetheless. Now, if you import this package, there are a couple of files that you do not need to import because that will save us time later on. Um, they are located under um, standard assets and then utility. So the ones you need to disable are force reset, FPS counter, and simple activator menu. So these scripts will give you a compiler error if you do import them. And since we're not using these scripts, um, you might as well just not import them at all. So we'll save you some trouble in the end. Import. API update required. Sure, I made a backup. Go ahead. Now, in the meantime, um, assuming that you already downloaded and installed uh, the FMOD suite and also downloaded the Uni integration plugin. Um, also head on over to developer.oculus.com slash downloads. Uh, I'll make sure that the links are in the description down below. Um, click on audio packages. Scroll down to Oculus Spatializer FMOD. Agree to the terms and download. Now let's have a look at Unity. Mm. 
All right, so the project has imported just fine. So let's have a look at what we have right now. So first of all, we have a couple of errors. And the first one we need to uh, fix is this one. Um, build target group dot web player is obsolete. Web player was removed in Unity 5.4, so we have to consider using WebGL instead. So double click on the error. It will open up Visual Studio, uh, line 88, um, right here where it says build target group dot web player. Just replace player with GL, make sure it's in capitals. Save it, and now this compiler error has gone. So click on clear. All right. Head on over to the project itself, go to Scenes, Viking Village. And let's see if we can um, play this. Yes, we can. All right. So now it's time to import the uh, packages that we downloaded. So. I got all my files in here. Um, basically, the, um, the the package that you got from the Oculus website is a directory with all of these files in it, except for these two, because I manually put these here. One of them is the, the FMOD Studio installer for Mac, and the other one is the Unity integration plugin. So let's uh, import that one first. Just everything selected, just click import. Now the second package is in the directory called Unity Packages, which is the Oculus Spatializer fmodunity.unity .unity package. Import this one as well. Now, there is something strange about this package because this basically installs a plugin which allows you to spatialize your audio, but by default it will put it in the wrong directory and therefore it will not work. So let me show you how to fix that. So I'm going to the um, directory where I have my uh, Unity project, which is right here, and then click on Assets, Plugins, now basically in this directory, this is where you will find um, the plugin. Um, if you're on a Mac like me, it's this file, including the meta file. You will need to move this and not copy it, but move it, otherwise you'll get an error, uh, into fmod lib mac right there. Now, if you're on a Windows machine, um, the file you're looking for is in here. So under x86-64. So take these two files, go to fmod lib win x86-64 bit and put them there. And that's about it. Now the plugin will not give you any errors. Now, if we take a look at the console, um, there are a few more things we need to take care of. First of all, uh, occlusion culling data is out of date, so please rebake. So let's do that in the meantime. Um, go to Window Rendering Occlusion Culling and press Bake. Now, in the meantime, let's start up FMOD. Um, New project, new event, 3D event. Let's call this uh, music for the time being. Oh. Right click, assign to master bank, import an audio file. This is just for testing purposes, so it doesn't really matter what it is. Um, yeah, I'm just going to make it loop. Right click, new loop region. Now on the master channel, there is a default spatializer from FMOD. Let's delete this and replace it with the Oculus 
Spatializer plugin. Click, add effect, um, scroll down to plugin effects. I know this is uh, off screen for you guys, but trust me, it's there. Plugin effects, Oculus, and then Oculus Spatializer. There it is. Um, let's see. So let's save this project. Uh, I usually save it in the root of my Unity projects, so I'll never lose them. Um, let's see, where did I put it? Documents, Unity project, Viking Village, new folder, fmod. Let's call this uh, Viking Village, fmod. Right, one last step we need to do, file, build. Now we'll build the master bank. So we can close um, FMOD right now. Um, let's see, what else do we need to do? Oh yeah, the FMOD Studio project path must be set to an FS profile. Uh, that basically means that we did install the FMOD integration, but we didn't specify which FMOD project we're using right now. So go to the menu, click Edit Settings, and then right here it will ask you where did you save your FMOD project. Browse. I put it right here. Select the file. Open. There it is. Okay. Um, let's go to the event browser and see what we have. So we have one event called Music. Let me check if it works. Yeah, works fine. All right. Um, let's see. Um, since we're using the Oculus Spatializer plugin, we do need to define that. So uh, in this same menu, click on Add Plugin, and then type in Oculus Spatializer fmod and please mind the capitals if you do not exactly type it like this it will not work so that's done um another thing you need to do is go to um quality manager high quality cameras flying rigid body fps controller camera high because this is basically your your player so this is the camera scroll down add a new component um, type in FMOD and then click on FMOD Studio Listener. So this is basically your pair of ears in the game. Alright, so now the last thing we need to do is actually put some audio in the game. So let's put an event in the game. So this is where the player is and I'm going to put the music right here on the dock so the easiest way to do that is go to the, your event browser and just grab one of the events and just drag it into unity so i'm just going to put it right here yeah all right now i'm also going to overwrite attenuation and this allows me to well This basically tells the player um, where do you want to start hearing the sound and at which location will it be at its loudest. So you have two spheres. Um, the outer sphere is where you will start to hear the sound and the inner sphere is where it is at its loudest. So anywhere within um, the inner sphere is maximum volume and anywhere in between these two spheres is where you have a volume roll-off or volume attenuation. So if you do not overwrite your attenuation, uh, that means that you have to set it manually within FMOD, which is fine as well, but I, I like doing it within um, Unity because it actually gives you a visual representation of um, how big your sound source is. All right, with all of that out of the way, Let's press play and see if everything worked. Oh 
Okay, I just made a complete rookie mistake. Um, I forgot to tell the FMOD Studio event emitter right here that it actually had to play the event. So, object start, and let's try again. Alright, great, that works. So, thank, thanks for listening and have a nice day. See you later.